Hello Level friends, this week we have addition to Level's make command, testing jobs, help us in general and we try to figure out if a facade is fake or not. Let's go! First, when you fake a facade inside your test, it's not that simple to figure out if it was faked or not and sometimes this is useful to know. But now it is way easier with the new ace fake method which is now publicly available. Thank you Caleb White. Next I'd like to show you two addition to Laravel's make command. So first in Laravel what you can do is you can create a blade component with make component. Let's give it a name, alert is fine. And you can see two files were created first, the class app view components alert and the view goes to resources views components alert. So what you can do now is you can now provide here a flag, which is the path with what you can define where the view file should go. So let's say my component like this, this will be, I don't know, some kind of warning. And you can see now the view file goes into views, my component, and then the name of the view file. So if you like to change this, this is something that you can now do with the path option. And the second thing is an addition to the PHP artisan make notification commands. So first you get asked about the name of the notification. Invoice paid is fine with me. And now second, this is new. You get also asked if you want to create a markdown view which is being used if you want to send your notification via an email. Let's say yes, and let's call it also invoice paid. So we can also get asked about the name now since we said yes. And now you can see we also have this new view file for invoice paid, which you now can customize to your needs. Thank you, Andrew, Brown and myself. Then while testing jobs, you could already check if it was released, deleted or if it was failed. But now you can also test the opposite with the assert not released, not deleted and not failed methods. Thank you, Günther de Brauer. And last, Jason has two new helpers for us to use. So first we have an addition to the string helper method with a new method called deduplicate, which receives a string like this. And let's maybe say we have here duplicated C and I want to make sure that we get rid of that by telling as a second argument that we want to get rid of duplicated Cs. And this works like this. You can see if I put more of them in there, this works the same. As a result, we only have Christoph with just the C. Of course, you have to be aware if you do something like this here, this does not work anymore because it really has to be the same key in order to make it work. Another good example is when you have some path like this one here, because then um, you often end up with duplicated letters in your path. And now you can also easily fix this by using this method here to make sure that your path look exactly the way that you want it to be. And we know all that this happens a lot if you create your path through different variables being added to each other and then you end up with duplicated keys, but not anymore. And now to our second example where we have categories. So imagine you have an array like this one where you have keys and those keys have some specific value. Like in this example, this could be a kind of ID for a specific category and then a second argument here that the value could be something like if this is activated or not. And now if we make a collection return as you can see of course we get back exactly as we would have imagined this. But now we want to flatten this array and if we use the flattener method which we have on collections like this one you can see here they are flat but now the keys are gone because they are now recreated and that's not what we want. So this means you want to remain the keys. And yeah, this was not easily possible like this before, but now it is with a new method called collapse with keys. We don't need to provide anything and you can see, here we go. Now we have the keys exactly how they were before. We also have the values and all collapsed inside one nice array. Thank you, Chase and McCreary. That's it for this week. Let me know which of the shown features you like the most and tell me about it in the comments. And see you the next time. Bye.